<laughs> Look at this amazing view along the way. Good morning guys, this is day one of walking El Camino del Norte, a trail that spans over 800 kilometers across northern Spain, and today is just the start. Let's see how it is, and please wish us luck. We are starting our Camino in San Sebastian Donostia, and today we're walking 21 kilometers all the way to Zaraut. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, Z-A-R-A-U-T-Z. -A -A and it's a two out of three on the difficulty scale. It's supposed to take five to eight hours. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but we have the shell guiding our way and there's also a yellow arrow same right here so as long as you have your eyes on that you could almost never go wrong we already have only one hour in an example of some trail magic people are so nice leaving things along the trail i think the camino de santiago has a pretty tight-knit community which is cool we're excited to be a part of that now as pilgrims currently on the trail seeking advice and one day hopefully we can give back and share our advice with you guys and we're doing that here sharing our journey even so you can see all of our trials and tribulations and <laughs> avoid all the mistakes that we make do as we say not as we do here on Ellie and Senshi <laughs> and let's hope there's no mistakes yeah yeah this is amazing you can just hear the nature along the way so peaceful calm that's why we are doing this, right? We really lucked out. It's April 16th and the past week has been super overcast, super rainy, but today is sunshine, blue skies, 18 degrees. The only downside, however, all the rain has made for a lot of mud. <laughs> but on the plus side, the greenery is so lush. It's so green, so vibrant. So I'm not complaining. This is the best we could ask for for a spring El Camino del Norte. It said two out of three on the difficulty scale, but it's feeling more like a three at this first part from San Sebastian to Aigelda, but I guess the views make up for it. I mean, we gained a lot of elevation in a short amount of time, but the bright side of that is having views of the sea from up high. But could I use some lunch and a break? Yes. Are we going to? No. On the note of hiking, this is actually my second hike ever. First one was 18 kilometers back in October. We were hiking the Albanian Alps and that's when we figured we want something more challenging. We want something longer, something harder. So our, my literally second hike ever is over 800 kilometers. So that's why we are here. That's why we are walking this just because of my first hike ever. We fell in love with it and we wanted something more challenging. And these are the types of folks you meet along the trail. Look at the size of his head. Look at the ears. They're oh, almost beautiful. as big as yours. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. We've been traveling for the past month. We've been traveling with suitcases and we've been carrying them around. And I can feel, I can already feel my left trap having like a huge knot and this backpack is feels like it weighs 100 kilos already so hope hope Ellie gets to roll it uh -huh. massage it a bit we'll see if it we get that knot out not out but it's really hurting right now after two hours in two and a mm -hmm. half hours in and this is just day one maybe we'll just become accustomed to the packs like they're another True. body part on Makes us sense. but yeah, let's hope it struggles gets day one here we found our spot and thank god we got these large ponchos protects you from rain and you can have a nice picnic wherever you want they're huge and super waterproof so you can just lay it on the ground like a big blanket and nothing gets soaked through or wet. Perfect. Time for a little lunch with... And we got our charger charging solar panels. Those are really handy on the trail. It's on the sun, 
it's charging you can charge with him it's mm -hmm. a charger charging right now <laughs> so here's our little lunch set up for the today we brought some toast some biscuits a little sliced meat and some cuties we have idyllic views right next to a horse and a little baby foal this is a good pro tip for the trail always bring some snacks especially on the days where you're not passing through many towns this is of course our first day but we haven't seen any markets or restaurants or anything to stop in so it's a good thing that we have these because now it's 2 p.m and we're super hungry and we really deserve this so now we're gonna enjoy okay four hours in to be honest it's becoming a bit hard you can feel it in your back you can feel it in your knees but is the thing we're still going up a bit it's slight elevation but you can still feel it the first four hours it's it was like a little song just like singing a song but right now it's not so nice anymore yeah. it is it is the first day of course it's gonna be hard for the first five days but you start to feel it at a certain point oh we got this yes sir we got this yes we do okay Sanji and i are just talking <laughs> passing the time and we keep saying how amazed we are the landscape changes every like three minutes like we were next to cliffside by the ocean then we were like in the pacific northwest like foggy evergreen trees like super tall really dense forest and now we're in like a really vibrant green farm just landscape like literally within a second can change just like that that is amazing that's el camino baby this is a little rest stop and this here is first aid kit on the road this just goes to show how El Camino community is big and caring. That is amazing. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Just on a path for pilgrims. That's awesome. Buen Camino. Buen Camino. Okay, we have officially entered the Oreos little city, which marks a checkpoint of 16 kilometers. Until our next checkpoint, and the last point of the day, we still have just a little above five kilometers. So, little update five kilometers away. We really feel the walking now. Yeah. Our backs hurt. Feet hurt. Feet hurt. Knees Shoulders hurt. hurt. <laughs> We're just starting to actually feel it at this point. But of yeah. course, it's just our bodies adjusting to the weight, to the walking. So, I don't think it's a big concern to be honest. It's just a natural thing to happen mm -hmm. at this moment. We'll acclimate. Same doing it all again, same time tomorrow, so I guess we'll have to. If you guys are curious how we're doing, these are the vibes right now with about four kilometers to go to Zalaut. Just needed a place to rest for at least two minutes. That's all. And I guess the pavement was a good enough place. <laughs> Pavements are amazing. And we made it to our final destination for the day, Zara Uts. We only have a kilometer to go. We're just outside of the city. So now we're gonna find an albergue to sleep in for the night. And that's it. We survived day one of the Camino del Norte. And we finally made it to the Bly Bly Hostel. This will be our sleep for tonight. And let's see inside what they offer. We checked in for 23 euros per person for the night. They had a really nice common area and a kitchen that we could use. They also provided this cubby for dirty hiking shoes and trekking poles. And the room was really comfortable. It was a dormitory style room, but the beds had their privacy with the curtain there. And you even had a lamp and a little cubby to put your things in the bed. They also provided these spacious lockers for you to put all of your things. Would highly recommend. We crashed here after a long day of walking and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning everyone. And we're preparing some sandwiches for the day. 
don't know if we'll pass markets or restaurants, so we are strapped with a healthy, filling meal for another day of walking ahead. Good morning, guys. It's day two of walking El Camino del Norte. We are just checking out of the hostel, got all of our things packed. We're ready for the day. But first, <clears throat> put this on. I need it. Take note, even if you're walking in the spring, you need sunscreen because you're hiking, walking all day in the sun. So don't forget that. This right here is why we did El Camino del Norte. There's a ton of different routes to choose from, and this is known as the most physically challenging one, which is a bit intimidating because we didn't train that much, but it's also known as the most beautiful one, as you can see here. And apparently beaches and aesthetics means a lot to us. As mentioned before, this is our second day. Today we are walking from Zaraut to a place called Askizu. We're taking it light today and on the accommodation last night note it was a really peaceful really nice really clean the beds were really nice we had a nice rest the only downside if i can say we needed a really nice rest instead of that both of us in the middle of the night were woken by a mosquito bites we had a bug spray with us yeah. But we didn't we didn't think we need it inside the hostel itself. True. So if you do have it, make sure to spray it on just for a peaceful night night and just to be calm. True. And the lack of sleep is why we're taking it a little bit easier today. Eight kilometers total. And that's kind of the benefit of the Camino. You can take it at your own pace. However you feel like there's towns you stop through so as long as you're planning ahead on making sure there's accommodation at that town you can really you don't have to be at a certain place on a certain day so today we need a little lighter day to rest up a bit and that's fine yeah and the place we are going to has only one accommodation so we made sure to do our research call up front just to make sure we have the accommodation for a night we called we booked so that's the place we're going tonight. Okay, we made it to our first checkpoint, five kilometers away, Yetaria, and well-deserved coffee. Until our final destination, we still have only two kilometers, so taking it easy. <laughs> Just us and the road. Another reason we're only walking about eight kilometers today is because we were going to go to the next town that was 10 kilometers, but the accommodation was closed there. There was only one albergue, I think, and one pension, and they were closed this time of year. So again, make sure you're double checking that before you're planning on it because you don't arrive to a town super tired, exhausted after pushing it to the limit in a day, and then find out you have to walk five, 10, 15 more kilometers. That would be hell. True, so. true. The only one that was open was uh, Albergue and per bed it was 30 euros. Mm, That's yes. a really, really high price for these kinds of accommodation along the way. Yeah, 30 euros for an Albergue could be better. The one we're staying in tonight is... 15 euros. 15 euros so a night. So that means 30 euros combined. That's, yeah. That's okay price. So if you're on a budget, you could be smart like that, looking out for the best albergue deals and even walking farther in a day if that means that you have to sleep less nights with accommodation on the Camino overall. Keep that in mind. And we just made it to our final destination for the day, Askizu. We're checking into the Agro Turismo Agote Aundi albergue right there. So let's see what the situation is like there. Okay, we are so excited. We just checked in 
and this is our room for tonight. In an albergue, and it wasn't extra cost or anything, 15 euros a person, and we have a private room, a private bathroom, and a freaking sea view. I mean, can you ask for any better? I feel like this is just a god wing. Everything it's amazing. is coming together so it perfectly. Instead of walking extra two miles for another city where we didn't have any accommodation, this is just like a godsend. You get a yeah. private room, you can get a really nice rest because there's a really hard day waiting for us tomorrow. Perfect. And later on, we also have a homemade dinner with them, which was 12 euros per person, but it's right down. It's in the middle of nature. So what else could you ask for? Perfect. And they provide breakfast in the morning for an additional three euros. So all in all, we're really happy. We're set. Happy, so happy, happy little pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have the pilgrim dinner and rest here for the night. That's a wrap on days one and two. If you're curious about how much it costs, you can check in the description. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for another day walking across Spain.